Okay, so guys, check out Ian and Woku. Remix. Remix. So we're going to go with the track of Prince KP, which is featuring on Okwazi. Like, you know, the only thing that kind of inspired me the track was the bass line. So I think that's the only thing that I managed to focus on the track specifically. So bass, yeah, I can, this progression of the bass is what we already know. This lighting base. Okay, maybe it's not that I cut off. Yeah, the, the, the base, yes, light, uh, that's what I like about it, but in this case, I didn't want it to slide quickly, clear mix, bend the hands. Plus, the texture, I let you mess and it turned on, so. I went for a Lena sound. Plus the timing, you can see this is not the same as that. Nothing is sliding here, but progression is still the same. Plus the texture is even much better. Even though the timing has changed a bit. You can see how the sounds can hear you know, that's what you you can see but <laughs> you can hear how the sound changes over time just because of like cut cut off which is automated okay next thing progression yeah i think it's the same as this so i also used his keys lap Well, I didn't. I didn't include the part. It is gum gum. I think it's here. Yeah, just for the sake of simplicity. This bass piano, FL keys, follows the same progression of the piece. And then I have repaired. I think this is this. This one may be one of the most important things. Glad track because there's few more notes included cooler progression because I still have the same progression up but you're not how I used and how I pro, I, I approached the track is that I first kept some sort of a dark sound which is a bit straight as you can see progression like a straight in a lap and then I automated the bass throughout from the middle towards a climax yeah. So the first part of the song is not really like inspired by the song itself, but as I had on to the middle part and towards the climax, it is inspired by the original track because you can hear a progression yakon. So this is what I mean, Gemo. I have a paired buson. So it's the open type of sound and as I pads and the big and the bold. So Mandy Lale with his drums. So you can hear like you know it's it dark and aggressive that's what i loved about it the track and that's how i thought i should approach it especially in the beginning so we get into the next one i don't think i'll have cover this because it is nice let's check out the synth which i used here Connects us. Mm. 
think it's a simple sound. Just and it's constant, constant throughout. Works well. Bass, ceramic bass. Love how it's open and big. Didn't even feel like I should add it. We mix as you can see. I pay corner we mix. Just sounded perfect the first time I heard it. So you can hear like here the mute, which is pushed by this bass line. When it's not there. What's up, Nala? Nala, Nala, rhythm game. I go, boom, 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 nabo, boom, ma, boom, nabo, boom, boom, boom. So that's the rhythm that I like carried throughout the track. And then game I had these small things, yeah, which I like to add there and then. Nabo, nabo. Which is also from Nexus, it's just a plug, but okay, it's a bit high with Spectrum. So, okay, well, that was it. That was it. That was it. Don't think I covered Lena. Let me talk about this for a bit. So, this progression, like, kind of grows into you when you're listening the track throughout since I head towards the climax and I also use cut off so just keeps growing keeps growing keeps growing as the track progresses because you can see this is the cut off this year it's automation yeah well and then go we'll head on to the the vocals like couldn't get the whole vocal and everything, but okay, I managed to get some chops nyan and the chops sounded perfect because I used them very, very well. Very, very, very well. So we're going to quickly look at his vocal chops and then I play the thing and then we bounce. So this one is... Now that sample is actually from the original track. I kind of chopped it off at the right time. Then I kept Yona Yota, which worked very well. And then what else? Ooh. Okay, here's any vocal, the vocal chop. You can see this is the panning which is automated. You can hear how this one is on the left and that's on the right. Le party to you, bye bye. Full track. And then the original tune. That's as a way. And your net keeps growing because there's. Oh, this is a stola. Now there's that harmony and then there's this one also which kind of grows into you which is a bit higher like the harmonies of the same vocal up which is a bit up higher than this normal one because you know and okay, effects are different towards the whole thing okay what else what else i don't i'm not sure if there's anything that i did not cover but okay let's listen to this thing before a lot of time runs out <laughs>
guys i'm gonna stop it right there and if you heard this for now maybe i might get caught with copyrights if that thing happens i'm going to delete the video i don't want to lie so you might be lucky to see this but let's hope it doesn't happen anyway thank you and i've been saying let me know which one i should tackle for the next one i love doing easy remix remaking stuff Especially this type of song these days. I'm enjoying it a lot. So, okay. I'll hear from you guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you.